All right, well, hello, physics students, and welcome to this, um, this video, which is first going to debrief the lab that we did today um, using that FET forces simulation. And then it's going to introduce us to uh, Newton's second law. We talked pretty extensively about Newton's first law. Um, so now we're going to move into uh, Newton's second law. So first things first, in that lab today, I had you create a couple graphs. Now for uh, experiment one, you ended up graphing acceleration. You ended up graphing acceleration versus force. Okay, and you should have gotten a line, and I, and I saw most of you did, should have gotten a linear line there, okay, with a positive slope. Now, I also asked you to write down an expression um, or write down what type of relationship we saw there um, in that graph. And what many of you put is that we had a direct relationship. You know, we had a, a direct relationship. So what that means then is that as, uh, as force was increased, we saw an increase in acceleration as well, and then vice versa. You know, if we decrease force, then we see a decrease in acceleration. Okay? Now, um, for your second graph, you again, well, here you graphed acceleration versus mass, and you should have seen that you got a graph that looked like this. Well, that's not a linear graph, and we want all of our graphs uh, linearized, so what you had to do was then you were graphing not acceleration versus mass, but you actually were graphing acceleration versus 1 over mass, and then you ended up getting a graph which looked like this. Now, again, here, if you take a look at the shapes we have here, these shapes are similar. So again, here in our second graph for experiment two, we also have a direct relationship. However, now because we have one over mass, if we increase mass, so if we increase mass, our acceleration actually decreases. And then vice versa, if we decrease mass, our acceleration increases. So I want you to keep these relationships in mind between acceleration and force and acceleration and mass um, because they have huge implications for us in terms of Newton's second law. So on the previous slide, we said that um, force was proportional to acceleration. So again, as we increase force, acceleration increases. And we also said that um, 1 over mass is proportional to acceleration. So here, if we increase mass our acceleration actually decreases, okay? So what does this mean? Mr. Welch, like we have these weird symbols. These mean proportions, by the way. Um, what this means for us is that we can develop an equation from these two expressions. And that equation is that acceleration is equal to force divided by mass, okay? And we can rearrange this and make it look very familiar to you that force is equal to mass times acceleration. Now, right here, this stuff right here, this is Newton's second law, okay? What Newton's second law is saying is that forces cause accelerations, okay? It's not the other way around. Accelerations don't cause forces Forces cause acceleration. Make sure I spell this right. So forces cause acceleration. Now, we can get even more specific with this. 
in terms of Newton's second law. And we can say that unbalanced, unbalanced forces cause accelerations. And this verbal definition right here, or this verbal statement, this is Newton's second law in a nutshell. We say that unbalanced forces cause accelerations. Now, what does this unbalanced forces mean? Well, so far we've been dealing with balance forces, and we've been using these equilibrium equations where we have a summation of forces in some direction are equal to zero. Well, we no longer have this, okay? Our summation of forces no longer equals zero. Our summation of forces now is equal to the mass of that object times the acceleration of that object. Now, this summation of forces then is equal to this, these unbalanced forces. And we have a term for the summation of forces. We call this a net force. Okay, we call this a net force. So really what we're saying in Newton's second law is that net force is equal to mass times acceleration. All right, so now just a quick example of how we can apply Newton's second law. Let's say that we just have, I'm just going to do the simple box example here. Okay, so we have a box, and this box has a mass of 10 kilograms. And we are pulling that box with a force of 80 newtons. And our job is we want to figure out what the acceleration of that box is. Well, we can draw a free body diagram for this box. We have our force due to gravity. We have our normal force. And we have um, our applied force. Now, because this box is sitting on a perfectly horizontal surface and my applied force is perfectly horizontal, we know then that our forces in the y direction are equal to zero, okay? These, this, this normal force here and this force due to gravity essentially cancel out. So we can say that forces in the y direction are equal to zero. However, let's take a look at our horizontal direction here. We only have one force in our horizontal direction. So that means we have unbalanced forces here. We have some net force. And that net force is equal to 80 newtons, because that's what our applied force was. Now, 80 newtons, then, is equal to mass times acceleration, because we said that net force is equal to mass times acceleration. So now we just have to solve for our acceleration, because we know the mass of that block. So if we rearrange this equation, then, to solve for A, we get net force over mass, and then just plug in what we know. Therefore, our, the acceleration of that block is 8 meters per second squared. Okay, so there's a very simplified, uh, a, very, a very simple example of how we can apply Newton's second law. Now, we'll be doing some problems a little more advanced than this. But the big takeaways here are that unbalanced forces, which we will call net force, are equal to the mass of the object times the acceleration of the object. This is our equation for Newton's second law. So, Hope you took good notes. Please write down any questions you may have so we can go over them in class and take care.